guys, good morning. Happy Friday. It's Daryl here. It's coming up on 5 a.m. here in Connecticut on the East Coast. I want to talk briefly about uh, Trump and his uh, his words, his actions on the coronavirus. Um, as I said in a video yesterday, I believe it was, um, I was talking about how he's seriously uh, publicly underestimating uh, what most health professionals are agreeing is going to happen, that it will eventually uh, spread to the United States, probably spread through the United States, probably through the rest of the world. I imagine that's that's how these viruses usually work. Um, and then uh, Trump's uh, his I couldn't even I couldn't you know very very seldom does Trump's words or actions surprise me anymore, but. When he started talking about how the uh, number of cases is only 15 and next week or next next in two weeks, they're getting better. In two weeks, it'll be down to five and two or zero. Basically, he's saying that they've eliminate, eliminated, uh, they're, they, they plan on eliminating the coronavirus here in, in the next couple of weeks. And that uh, a vaccine's right around the corner and it's just like the usual flu. This also reminds me of uh, what he ta when he talked about um, when Iran launched the missiles there and, and hit the United the U.S. base in Iraq, and how when he commented that uh, fifty or so um, soldiers had had headaches or something like that when they actually had. Uh, forms of brain damage from the concussions from these missiles, the way he underestimates serious um, medical issues um, is what I'm saying. But this is this is what I want to talk about today. So he put Vice President Pence in charge. And I started thinking about this. And I'll, I'll tell you what, the first thing that came to my mind was that he he knows the truth. Uh, you know, he, he's trying, I think, in his own inept, uh, unintelligent way, he's trying to uh, downplay the severity of the disease of the uh, virus and trying to trying to do something about the Dow Jones going lower and lower each day. And I, I think this is his version of, of trying to handle it, um, basically lying and underestimating the, the, uh, the virus. And then also, okay, so he puts Vice President Pence in charge. <clears throat> so right off the bat, I, I start asking myself why. He, he makes it obvious. He says, okay, Pence is, this is Pence's responsibility. And right off the bat, I, I'm thinking he knows what's going to happen. He knows that his words are going to come back on him, that it is going to spread through the U.S. And basically, right off the bat, I... I, I, I I got the idea that he's looking for a fall guy, that he's he knows it's going to spread through the U.S., and he's going to need somebody to blame for this, and and Pence is that guy. That's that's immediately, that was my uh, my idea of why and what was going on there. I will, only time will tell if I'm right on this, but um, I Trump will never, never take blame or admit to any any fault, any mistake, you know, as all great, all great men, all intelligent men throughout history have, have said that the only way you learn is through mistakes, learning from your mistakes. A, a, a good man, an intelligent man will admit his mistakes. Um, and Trump is none of the above. Uh, he, he's, he, every time there's any issues, any, anything bad, anything negative, there, he immediately, there's always a fall guy, somebody to blame. I also, I, I haven't read up on this, but uh, I, I saw that I think he was blaming uh, the stock market crash on, or not, I, I'm sorry, I'm not calling it the stock market crash, but the, the Dow Jones fall in the last couple of days. I, I, I was reading some headlines that he was actually blaming that on the uh, Democratic debate, which is just, I, I can't even take that seriously. Um, as always, he's looking for a, he's looking for a fall guy. Uh, he's, he's, he needs somebody to blame. I think in the back of his head, he knows that this will spread through the United States and, he, you know, and he's going to be taken to task on his words, um, saying that, uh, they've almost had it eradicated. 
And I, I could I, I got a pretty good idea of where the, I think this is going to go. Um, it's going to spread through the United States and the Dow Jones will probably fall a little more. And he's going to turn to Pence and point the finger at Pence. I, I, that's what I believe. I believe Pence is going to be the fall guy that, uh, well, he, he put Pence in charge and and Pence, Pence messed it up. They couldn't handle it. I, I, that's, that's what I perceive as what's going to happen. Now, like I said, only time will tell, but, uh, if, uh, Trump's past behavior and uh, his, his MO, his modus operandi is, is any indicator, uh, and is his, his overall, uh, juvenile, uh, personality is any, any indicator. I got a good, I got a good feeling, uh, not a good feeling, but I got a good idea that this is, this is what's going to happen that, uh, Good old Mike Pence is going to be the uh, is going to be the one getting kicked around for this once it, once this virus does does uh, probably more than likely spread around the United States. Not something I want to see, and nothing I should be. I'm not. I'm not I don't take any joy or anything in. But uh, that's that's the way I I perceive things playing out. We'll see. All right, you guys have a good Friday.